just testing the mic. Hello again. It's me again. I just watched a epic streamer being epic and learning X4. Oh, and that just got me into the mood for X4 again. BCS. Even Thank after God. I had to rage quit and go eat something. But it's fine. It's fine, like fine wine and dining uh, let me see if i can lower the camera a little bit again that's better maybe i don't know maybe not i don't know anyway so we've got our two fighters and our three, three prometheus um and we all ha have all of them pretty much in the same space. Yeah, our two Theseus. Thesi. I don't know. Just makes sense. Uh, let's get a pilot for this guy. Egosoft would like to thank you for buying their product. No need to thank me, Egosoft. You deserve it. What a brilliant company. Uh, da, 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 da. I did decide to enable... Um... Ooh, that's new. That's actually freaking brilliant. Anyway, uh, I did decide to opt into the beta but for some reason i can only see the first uh, 6.1 uh, and i should be on 6.2 so that's something i really 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 want to change so yeah like you can see i'm on 6.1 which is not what i would like to have that is not something I want right now. So let me just go here to the Egosoft site. Uh, probably need to search something. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where do you search in this website? Uh, doesn't seem like they have a specific search area. So how do I get to... Ah, developer network. Uh... That's weird. No modes. What? What's going on here? Board index, there we go. 
So let's say X4 Foundations. Uh, current beta, public beta. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. 6.2 especially concerning grabbing blah 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 please read the specific test request and report your feedback to the form thread okay so that's the forum And then I need to actually do a beta save. Copy. So let me just quickly do a save of my... Uh, a backup of my save. Which you guys should have an idea on how to do that uh if you checked one of my previous uh streams i showed how to add the custom logo uh, i think it was actually the previous one for today so busy uploading that into the youtubes so that's a thing and uh, I just had to quit the game for a second so that I can actually enable said beta. Uh, da -da -da -da. Check code. Dick. Done. You see? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, and that's fun. I did not think of the repercussions that is um, downloading the stuff that's needed for the beta. Although it should be relatively quick. Uh, it's just 15 megs, 60 megs. So it should be done in a few seconds. Now, regarding the audio, it would probably be a very good idea if I uh, get my music running again. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're looking at two minutes about, although we all know how it goes with... Uh, Things like downloads and copies and stuff like that. It never seemed to take the same amount of time. So, do 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 do. Ugh. But yeah, we are experiencing some technical difficulties right now with some uh, websites refusing to download. But that's a South African issue. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We'll be able to access paint mods, online rendering, blah, blah, blah. Venture modules. Uh, visitor ships. Don't really care about that part though. But we will work through this and see if we can just assist them with a few uh, bug reports and stuff. Because obviously, <coughs> sorry, it's um always a good thing to help the creators of the content that you enjoy. 
and I do enjoy X4. Currently my favorite game, I would say, uh, has been for quite a while, to be honest. And there we go, the update has been done. I should be now on 6.2. Which is the public beta? I'm not gonna worry about downloading this right now. As that is just going to cause more headaches than it's worth. But... do want to do this no, do, 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 do. And there we go. Brilliant. Awesomeness. So now we just need to load the game. me face and then you guys can probably see how far the loading screen is that would probably be a very good idea run And there we go. Enable my face again. All right, so let's carry on here, shall we? We've got two Theseus at this stage, and we've got three Prometheus and one Perseus. All of these names are getting my tongue twisted. Right, so I am going to have to un... like, should I stand up ECS, to make this work? Vanguard. That's weird. I can't remember that I had to do that. Oh, it's because I'm in the wrong bloody ship. Hold on. Let me sit down. And try that again by selecting the correct ship, shall we? Oh my goodness! I was not aware that that was a thing. I could have sworn I have been able to promote the best pilot to uh, the best crew member to pilot. Uh, but I, I, I was probably mistaken. I don't know. Greetings. <clears throat> oh my lord. Listen to that deep voice. That just sounds amazing. Uh, right, so we would need to grab another 
uh, co-pilot. Co-pilot. Oh my lord. My brain's melting today. Another marine, please. Alright, so this one, I think I put three repeaters. Yes, that's it. And then the other one is obviously the one with the burst ray for taking down large and extra large ships. Which is fine, that's exactly what I need. And then the Perseus is one of the less uh, one of the ships that's not as good. It's not bad. But it's nowhere near the Theseus or the Ares. So I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, we need to seriously grab those satellites first. So let's just sell all the stuff that we can. Indiana Jones in my head. I mean, really? Why would that be a thing? You will never know. But I, I have to admit, uh, the Paranid annoyed me to a point where I truly, truly can see myself pirating ships from them. That's the annoyance that they have been when I was trying to board a specific ship. So... Yeah. Oh yes, that's one thing that I wanted to check. I wanted to check if we are on the rank God Realm. So uh da, 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 da. Yeah, so this, uh, the faction will not send patrol ships to areas in which your assets have been repeatedly attacked. So that is exactly what I thought was going to happen, and it is basically still not a thing. So, technically, that should not have caused uh, their ships to uh, go and shoot down that scale plate ship but obviously something went horribly wrong and they decided oh let's go attack this ship that was busy being uh attacked but anyway it's done no use in crying over destroyed ships and uh murdered marines we just become stronger and do what we can all right so we've got our three prometheus and two theseus i want to end up being able to maybe get another prometheus so let's do a flyby in this sector Right. I can probably set it up as um, repeat orders. That's possibly a thing that's going to work. But whatever. Uh, what I'm going to do for now is just take my seat. Hello. And then we are going to follow my other small little Theseus shippy through the gate and go and wait to see a Prometheus.
So we are just going to get about two more Prometheus, hopefully. Mm. So what I'm going to do is probably ask these Prometheus to trade again. So that we can get some cash. Ooh, well needed cash. Uh, da -da -da -da. Graphene seems to be whiling out with a decent amount of cash. Yeah, that seems like a decent profit. Good profits to you. And I am flying past the gate. Oh goodness. Uh, turn around. Right eye. Turn around. That's new. So, it has like a rubber band the line. Nebula is still evading my senses. Yeah, I, I know. To explain to you the grand importance and far-reaching consequences reliant on the success of such galactic observations. You know what? You can try, but guess what? I'm not gonna listen because I couldn't be bothered. At this stage, I'm trying to make money, trying to get us some ships so that we can actually survive this uh, life that we have. So I need you to chill out. Right. So we need to see any Prometheus that seems to be some form of pirate. Currently, can't really see any. But we're definitely gonna keep our eyes peeled. <clears throat> What's that? And there we go. So what I'm going to do is right click on it. Start guidance to object. And now even if it is in uh, the fog of war. Or not visible by one of my ships. It's still going to be shown on the map. As well as on my screen. So we won't lose that ship. Do you see? Exactly what I said. So it's available on my map. Even if there is no sight and i can also still follow it here I'm, I'm guessing that's a little bit of a hacky cheeky way of doing this type of thing you know like you shouldn't be able to follow a ship if you don't have radar uh detection and stuff but who cares i'm just gonna name it a feature call me the second uh todd howard it just works <laughs> all right so there we go prometheus now we can go closer and scan oh no no you can't do that i can uh unless you break check me i mean how bro oh my goodness we are pretty much Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm just gonna stop. There we go. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Where are you going? Right. So I need to scan this guy a second time. <coughs> There we go. All right, so it's got 13 crew currently flying. Field is at 60, 49, so it's using boost to get away from me. And there you we really go. Didn't want to do that. Yeah, I did. I really did.
a little bit out of my range, which is a bit annoying. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. So now we just need to keep it at about 60 to 40 percent hole and just keep chipping away at its shields once it regenerates the shield. Please don't kill us. I won't. You just need to leave your ship, bro. Oh my lord, these turds of it's hurting me. There we go. Back to zero. Back to zero. Well, we're just gonna keep on doing this until they decide to leave the ship to me. You really didn't want to do that. Yeah, I did. Really want to keep doing this. Just gonna keep doing this until they give up. Okay, so it lost a little bit of crew there, so we're down to nine. Oops. Oh. Oh, no. I keep overshooting with those guns. down to six crew members left oops get me out of here uh that's called cool, the escape pod bro use it please like i don't you don't have another choice in the matter because you won't go down with this ship You won't put your eyes up and surrender. Hands up, jeez. Oh my lord. You're taking a oh. lot of damage, oh no. bro. Could you please just leave the ship? Alright. Three crew members left. All right. I don't know Get why the Prometheus here. loves doing that, but it seems like they love doing a break check type of maneuver. Please don't kill us. I'm gonna try, but I mean. You can just leave the ship. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't really want to shoot the escape pod. I wonder if I can actually see something. Cool. It actually shows you one of four crew members. Anyway, all right, let's go grab our newly acquired uh, Prometheus. Prometheus. Greetings, 
Greetings. Lucius, Vanguard. Let's grab our space suit. Uh, I just want to give my Theseus orders to rem uh, not do anything right now. We found something out here. Yeah, I know. I actually created that something that you just found, bro. Like, seriously. So, all we need to do now is actually find the entrance to the ship, which is probably on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. We will then go and use our repair la laser on that radio signal. And that will then create the ship in, well, give it to me. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't want to dock here. Hold on, hold on. I actually Theseus, want to go Vanguard. into the Theseus, if you docking don't believe me. It. Yeah, that was a wrong button. Can we say that? Press the wrong button. Docking granted. And there we go. Get out of my seat. Thank you. Right now, I need a Prometheus pilot to work there. So select it, press F, and transfer crew with. And we're going to transfer one of our. Uh, recruit marines. I just had to quickly. Uh, yeah, drop cargo. Drop all illegal items. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't actually uh, think that I had illegal stuff on me, so. My bad. Now let me just add this crew member as a captain. Then take it to this shipyard. Uh, very good. MK2 shield. Yeah, this is a decent, decent ship. I'm just going to change the plasma cannons. And then... Bolt repeaters. Ooh, that's the wrong one. Something like that. I don't really care about this software because I'm not going to use this ship. Also, the nav beacons can be a lot less. I'm gonna leave some laser towers on it and then repair it okay we need weapon components over there but it's fine we'll make do all right so because i have like prometheus mostly I am going to change my global orders because the fleeing part of the global orders are not working currently. Because, uh, yeah. And I'm obviously going to have to just arm all of the turrets again. Why do you not have guns? Why is that a thing? Did I seriously not put guns on you? Oh my lord, I can't believe I did that. This thing has zero guns. I am almost sure I have not upgraded this ship. Oh, what type of horrible, horrible person am I? Uh, let's put plasma cannons on you all. And then we're gonna have some bolt repeaters. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, MK2 
one. Again, don't care about that. I'm just going to make this less. Laser towers are fine. There we go. Confirm order. Alright, so we definitely need some uh, weapon. Uh, com weapon? Uh, weapon components. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Uh, I was hoping that it would be clear because I just dropped all my stuff for your buddy. Right, so I'm going to just have these and let's grab some weapon components. And just sell it directly to that space station. So that we can get our other ships also outfitted. Now we're not making a lot of money on these sales because obviously I'm doing it for uh, the fact that I just need to get my ships out of harm's way. Or not out of harm's way, but out of uh, the docking bay trying to get equipment. Alright, so now I am hoping to find one more uh Prometheus that I can take out so again let's do a flyby see if we can see some random Prometheus popping up somewhere Uh, that's a elite. No, that's a eclipse. It's actually a good ship, and there's a elite, which is very squishy. Don't really want that. There is a pulsar, just as squishy, elite. Theseus Vanguard. Right, I'm going to remove that order. You can just zip all the way down, please. The P the P. I am going to stand a little bit closer to the gate, which will help us see if somebody comes in or goes out of the gate. <clears throat> There's a miner. Might be something I want to look at getting. So I'll definitely be looking at that. Obviously, we're not going to pirate those. I am, however, very close to deciding that all Paranet ships are fair game to be pirated. Because they did destroy my uh, ship that I was trying to board. <clears throat> hmm. 
my ship here unfortunately seems to be going through some choppy weather let's see if you if you, we can manipulate you a little bit to go into travel drive again Prometheus there. Yeah, obviously. Minotaur Raider. Ooh, three of them. Okay. Quite interesting. I can probably just as well go to all this and ships. <laughs> uh, although I don't like reading, so... But I will be able to see um, as soon as it's like... Not paranoid. There's Elite Vanguard. Don't really care about those. Pulsar also really don't care about those. Eclipse. Feeling as if I'm probably gonna have a better chance of finding a bad guy here close to the pirate station. Uh, to be honest, I don't think that this entire sector is gonna have bad guys. Or it, they, they are, but not the Prometheus, because I'm obviously destroying the Prometheus very, very religiously at this stage they might have ran out of prometheus <laughs> for now obviously they will rebuild um but yeah we might need to go and acquire some other ships for a little bit Prometheus, there we go. Uh, guidance. 
All right, let's go get ourselves another Prometheus. That is brilliant. Hermes. Vanguard. That's a Hermes. Prometheus. Now, obviously, if we can get this one, we will be having a very decent uh, trading fleet. Oh, and I forgot to change my orders. Please remind me to change my global orders. I really need to change my global orders. Right, let's get ready for this thing to pass us. There we go. Speed up. Travel drive. And here we go. No. Yes, I can. Why would you speed up when I'm trying to scan you? I <laughs> gotcha. You thought you're gonna get away from me. Now, eat my bullets, you pirates scum. Doubt it. All right, so this one has twelve crew members. So we just need to make sure we get those 12 crew members off the ship. Please spare us. I will just get off the ship, please. No, get off. It's my ship now. You shouldn't have used it for nefarious purposes and then you wouldn't have been an annexed. Morale's quite high on this ship. I have to admit. Please spare us. As long as you get off the ship, your lives will be spared. No, I'm not. I 
I'm not in the market of date. I'm in the market of acquiring new ships. That's all I want to do is get new ships. That's it. So I am completely fine with you just abandoning your ship, please. Da, 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 da. No, not gonna stop. Yeah, so I don't think that this one is actually going to surrender. You do get some of them just that just refuse straight up to surrender at all. Um, now we're gonna try very hard to keep this thing alive for as long as possible to see if maybe it's just because the morale is probably very very high uh probably You're like making a big mistake veteran crew members on this ship to be honest uh which is sad because i would love stop. to get them There we go. We just lost three crew members of that. Will this ever end? Yeah, as soon as you get off the ship, that, that will make it end. Okay, so I'm guessing we should get some crew members uh, evacuating a little bit, like, more. Please spare us. Because now pretty much all the morale should be going down very rapidly there we go we've got another one another three that just left no. No. yes yes leave your ship to me will be in better hands oops maybe not I am hurting this ship of yours now. Down to 29 HP. So this is going to be the last uh, jump of three crew members that needs to evacuate. We're losing the ship. Please stop. So we're going to try very hard to keep this thing alive until those three leave. Uh... Seems like they still do have engineers on there. No, no. Because they did repair up from 28 to 29, and then I took it down to 28 again. Yeah, we're losing this ship. There we no, go. Please. Yay! Brilliant. So we have another ship that is now ours. BCS Vanguard. Let's go claim our prize. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Move down. Why Why don't you want to move down? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Is this the top part of the ship? Why am I lost? There we go. 
radar signal is mine brilliant awesome let's get back to our ship the theseus docking granted Right. Can I help? No, I just want to grab the sheet. Sheet. The the seat. Sheet. Oh my lord. And now we have an auto save. Epic. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So let's just transfer crew. This time I'm going to do it correctly because I am not afraid of any police. I'm also going to sign a captain and confirm and then automatically the transferred crew member will take control of the Prometheus. All right. Brilliant. So now what I can do is I can remove all the orders here of this Theseus. Have it dock here at the Allied Alliance uh, dock. Have this guy upgrade and repair because it's completely wrecked at this stage. Uh, so that's fine. Let's do a MK2... Baronet shields. Then we are going to grab some plasma cannons, except this one, which is apparently a tracker launcher. And this one as well, so we'll go and mark those mods. That's fine. Bolt repeater, bolt repeater. And bolt repeater. And... Get rid of some of the stuff that's currently on this thing. Repair. Confirm. Confirm. Brilliant. So that's now going to fly towards the docking state, uh, the, the wharf, which we will then Paranet join. Wharf. Looks a lot like a Star Trek uh, icon or emblem. But I'm guessing that's the ship icon because it's a wharf. It's like a fly flight, like a small fighter icon. Just like an outline rather than the filled icon like we used to have. Docking granted. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And we are docking. Successfully docked. Awesomeness. All right. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Thank you. I am pleased to be aboard. No orders for you, that's fine. So this is the ship trader. Which should also have the workbench. Yes, it does. So now I'm just waiting for my new Theseus of oh, Prometheus to dock. Once that's done, which seems to be now, I can go to the workbench. And now we can actually check the guns. I'm going to dismantle that one. Dismantle that one. There's none of those. That one is fine. We're going to leave it like that. And I'm just going to change the 
uh, color to normal. Alright, so now I should be able to sell those two rocket launchers. We're just going to have to wait for it to finish the uh what do you call it configuration reconfiguration or some something like that so the baronet and the pirates are fighting currently Ooh, exceptional ship and away that's something to go grab maybe Go grab that for me, please. If you're gonna be on time. Maybe go grab those as well. Oh, these pirates are seriously going out of their way to destroy them. Right, let's go back and upgrade this thing. Uh, did I seriously not confirm my changes? That would be stupidish. But that would be me. That would be me. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, there's none of them. So what's what's going on here? Is that the wrong Prometheus? Oh it is. My bad. Guns. Plasma. Plasma. Plasma, please. Grab it. Confirm it. Done. Theseus, I need you. To also collect drops there. Oh my lord, that's a big uh, space. Let's reduce those that... Uh, oh, you can't. That sucks. So it's only if you do it uh, via the other screen. Oh well. Ooh. I'm getting a bunch of stuff. Uh, who are you? Are you the one with my... Yeah, burst ray. Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. Right, so grabbing all of that. So, we need to get some more trading done why is this illegal oh it's an enemy faction not illegal it's the buccaneers Weapon components. Quantum tubes. Okay, yeah, let's do these.
should be able to do another one before the price becomes a nightmare. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much that. So the next Prometheus is going to have to do something else. Not that. Yeah, this is fine. We can do this as well. Alright. So that's going to put us at 300,000 more cash that we can get. Which is amazing. Uh, so this sentient life form is still grabbing all the uh, different things that drops. So while that's busy, let's quickly have a look at our global orders again. Uh, no, that one. And here, uh, default global response to attacks. Uh, this I'm going to change. Uh, I'm going to say use judgment. But I know for a fact that use judgment does not work for this particular idea. But it's fine, we'll try it. Maybe it's fixed. Doubt it though. Right. And then Fire authorization. Well, that's interesting. We can definitely use this on a later stage. Not now, though. And obviously we have the avoid conflict, which basically restricts my ships from going into sectors owned by enemies and Probably gonna have to add Xenon in here as well. Uh, let's do Xenon. Yaki for now. I don't think there is any space bug sectors, so that's fine. And confirm changes. Okay, so they shouldn't be going anywhere near enemy. Right, so I haven't actually seen any uh, ships currently. Let's just collect that drop as well. There's a few uh, drops there, but I'm not going to even try and take those things. Uh, you know what? Actually, leave that. Just, Just leave it. I don't want to end up having bad experience because they think it's their wares and I think it's free for use or whatever and uh, we end up getting a miscommunication. Right. So 
So now... We've got a decent amount of Prometheus trading ships, which obviously can handle their own against a lot of the bad guys currently. Um, so I feel like we should be fine if we use them for trading right now. And we'll grab some more as we go. But I need to get mining ships going. Yeah, I need to get miners into this whole scenario. So, let's have a look at buying a mining ship. Obviously, the medium miners, the... The small miners is useless uh, for anything, pretty much. Uh, gas miner. It's got two turrets at the top. That's about it. Not a very effectively armored um, miner, if I have to say that. So let me quickly check. There's this epic website. Uh, that they have which I want to share with you guys so here I go trying to share my screen again there we go that was easy enough uh, yeah and this thing basically shows you all the ships all the stats and all those type of things so it, it does a lot more than that but that's like one of the main features that I like about this site. So it's Rogues X4. And uh, it's an epic site to have uh, for X4 if you play the game. So I'm going to keep it at medium ship class. I, the role we're going to change to minor. And then we are going to see uh, the turret and weapon uh, situation. So, let us change this. So, the alligator mineral has the most. Now, we're looking for gas miners because gas miners tend to basically be cheaper because you don't have to buy the mining drills, um, which is an expensive weapon. So we're going to just basically have to go down to the first gas miners, which is these. And basically all of them only have two turrets. Which I do understand. But now it's basically going to be up to speediness, tankiness, and turret placement because we obviously don't want the turrets to be at the bottom of the ship because uh that's gonna uh, uh just either on the bottom or the top so on the sides are a very good idea so this sunder is gonna be a very good idea to run with because they can shoot up and down <laughs> Sorry about that. Ugh. Okay. Anyway. So the Sunder is definitely a good idea. Plutus. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so this is the one that we can get currently from the Baronet factions. Uh, Minoria, I'm not sure whose is that. Uh, this looks very Teladi-ish. Yeah, Teladi War. You see, 
I can see a Delati ship from a mile away. And then the Bolas, obviously the um, Terran and Alligator is the split. And I'm guessing the Porpoise is going to be the um, Boron. Now Boron is a little bit different. I won't even be able to see where the turrets are. Because I don't know the ships that well. And we are going to have a nightmare of a time to get there. Get everything ready. All the missions that it's hidden behind. And just no. So. Not going to worry about the Boron Miner at this stage. But we are definitely going to see either the... Sunder or the Mon Minoria. So let's quickly double check the two stats between the Sunder and the Minoria. So we want to have a look at the hull, the shield, and the cargo. And speed in a sense, but whatever. So Sunder. And Minoria, we are looking at 2.1 against 2.3. 10k versus 10k. Uh, 2 and 2. And then the hole is pretty much the same. But the Minoria has like double the amount of shields. Yeah, so Minoria hands down is going to be the most tanky uh, miner, which means it's going to have a very a better chance of actually surviving uh, encounters that we might get. Uh, from pirates and stuff like that. So, who sells the Minoria? I think it's an Argon ship, though. So, let's quickly have a look. Okay, so that's the Sunder. So, it's not the Argon. So, is it... It's not Talati, it's not Paranet. So, it's definitely one of the Argon factions. So, it's either Hatikva... Or it's going to be <coughs> Antigone Memorial. So, where is those shipyards? Uh, I could probably just check on the website. Uh, which where is where is it available? Uh, where can I find this thing? No man, what? Which one did we say? The Minoria. The Minoria is a Talati ship. I mean, really? Ugh. I just got confused by myself. All right, Talati, it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if we can buy the Minoria. We can. Awesome. Right. Yeah, so it's definitely a little bit more... Uh, it doesn't have such a... Uh, what do you call it? Like a... a, a, a blind spot for the turrets it's a lot uh, smaller blind spot it's just really the bottom so your uh, turrets are going to definitely shoot a lot better so all around versus travel that's 3.8 
2.8. That's like a massive difference. So let's use the travel drives. I'm going to use the MK3 all around. Because we don't need to put the uh, combat uh, thing. Uh, for now the normal Teladi shield MK2s. Uh, we'll get turrets from Paranid. Don't care about the docking stuff. All the basic stuff is fine. Uh, not going to put any laser towers right now. I do not have the cash. So that's going to maybe put us over our budget. Alright, so we can buy one. That's horrendous. So we're pretty much out of cash now, right now. Um, do we have any ship with resource probes? Got laser towers, laser towers. Nav beacons and laser towers are pretty much the go-to right here. right okay i need to travel to which one of my ships i need you to go drop your cargo Uh, okay, so there's nothing in your inventory, I'm guessing. Okay, that's weird. I thought uh, we collected some of these drops, but okay. Whatever bakes your noodle, right? Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm going to need you to grab some resource probes. It's too bad. Oh god, I can't even do that. Yeah, three is going to be pretty much the max. Right. Now, I'm obviously not going to try and uh, get some... Uh, do some mining in there. I'd rather... Do some mining where I know uh, there's police and stuff to assist me when there's trouble. If that makes sense. So maybe here. Not really sure where else. Yeah, not a lot of places to actually mine. ZFS. Hold on. BCS Vanguard. Right. So I need this ship to basically put a advanced satellite over there somewhere um i need to see which one is gas again so either blue or purple so either this part or this is red so maybe not there Uh, da, 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 da. I need to seriously get advanced satellites set up correctly.
gonna put one about there. I'm gonna ask this one to put down a resource probe over there. I'm gonna ask my miner to fly this way. And now I'm going to have to try and um, get some form of idea here with the naming conventions because now it's going to become a situation where it's just all the different ships are everywhere traders miners fighters every everything is just confusing so we're going to prefix the names of the ships so you're gonna see uh, I can't remember exactly what I did. Uh, so, traders were dollar signs. Turrets were carrots. And... I think miners were and signs or stars. I can't remember. But a prefix of a star. We'll put it where. Uh, all of them are going to be like above. So your new ships will always be at the bottom existing ships or already ordered ships is going to be at the top so these are basically all going to get a prefix of a dollar space which will Entering put them sanctum free so all the the trading ships will then basically be above the mining ships that makes sense <clears throat> and your fighters will all basically be exclamation marks which will put them completely at the top uh, unless you have a special ship then it's a squiggly line so in this scenario it's much easier to note all your ships that ha doesn't have orders yet because you just bought them or acquired them or whatever is going to be at the bottom your miners will be at the bottom of the ordered list and then all your traders and then all your fighters and above those will be your personal ships that you need uh very close to your self if that makes sense uh, so I'm currently in that ship I think yes I am so why are we flying that slow could we please speed it up we can do some trading again uh, oh no I don't have cash left <laughs> I, I, I used all my millions and millions of uh, credits to buy a mining ship so yeah we're gonna have to make some money with the mining ship before we actually do anything so let's do mining and trading and the trade filter will be for liquid so this particular uh, sector is buying methane and hydrogen and we hopefully will get those two things there all right so we've got an advanced satellite over there 
Uh, that's going to give us a little bit of room to play with. I then want to put a advanced satellite somewhere around there. You may scan. The scan is finished. So we're going to do that. I just got confused because of this other green line coming in, but it's actually the mining. So we've got hydrogen a lot more, but we also have uh, methane. So we're going to get our gas miner information behavior. And we are going to remove this behavior. We're going to change the default behavior to repeat orders. Confirm that. And now we are going to ask it to mine methane. And then we are going to... sell in uh sell wares methane uh, minimum price this is where we need our trading enabled again no what am i doing what am i doing hold on i'm being an idiot i should mine hydrogen mine no why do you only want to mine methane? Hydrogen. I should be able to expand the... Oops. My bad. Okay, so that should be fine now we're going to right click cell in and we're going to go to hydrogen and we are going to say minimum price is going to be 48 49 about what did you keep zero that's fine confirm Alright, so that's selling hydrogen there. There's no stations currently here that is uh, buying hydrogen. There is. So if there's no other wares or other stations, sell your hydrogen here at 49 confirm so if it does not get a station that wants to buy it for 49 or more in this other sector which i can't remember the name of uh trinity it's going to go to this uh pontifex system and basically sell there if there is a station so Something we do need to also do now is actually get uh, the stations over here. Oh, we do have a satellite. That's why we can actually see. Sometimes I'm a little bit behind my own mental capacity. Well, what can we say, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this satellite collect and we're going to collect this one we're going to collect this satellite as well and this one that should be all of them that i need to collect that's good
these guys are again just going ham at this stage they are just building fleets upon fleets upon fleets and just going crazy so i don't know maybe i should just try and take them out again that is ultimately what i think might be the best idea uh, this thing, do you have anything? Resource probes, okay. Don't currently want more resource probes, because uh, that's pretty much the extent of where I want to mine. Don't want to go mining in here, because that's going to be dangerous as hell. Uh, so let's try and trade normal containers. And let's see what we can do over here in these sectors over here. I'm going to start including the Holy Order as well into my trading. Uh, advanced electronics. That's going to be crap expensive. So I'd rather try and get something really cheap maybe energy cells or something don't want to do water yeah water is not a good idea so uh, energy cells is that a thing Does anybody think that energy cells is a good idea? 15 to 17, and that's through the pirate sectors. No, that's not a good idea. Uh, da 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 da. Graphene might be a good idea. That's going to be all of my cash. So now we're just going to wait for that trade to finish. Then we have double the amount of money that we just had. Currently, we are just collecting some drops. Why are we flying so slow? Could we please speed it up? gonna have that fighter dock in there and hopefully not end up losing it for some obscure reason I 
Ouch. Right. So... So this is a Phoenix Plunder, which means it's a scale plate ship, and it's a large trader. So again, if I start trying to board that ship, our other lovely fellow friends of the universe is going to try and shoot it down, which is a nightmare. Which is something I really don't want to have happen like it did the last time. So I'd really, really hate to get that as a situation again. Where am I currently? Why are you just standing there? I am completely sure that I actually sent... Oh god, hold on. I'm completely sure that I sent this guy over here somewhere. Did I not? Yeah, I might have not done that. Oh well, whatever. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is set guidance to here, so... And Whoa. get into my ship. And we are now going to try and get some... Uh, reputation points from HOP. Uh, this highway is going the wrong way, so I'd rather not take it. I'd rather just fly through the gate manually. Well, close to manually. I'd like to enter the highway because that's gonna just make it a little easier Entering system. Unholy retribution. Pew pew. Entering system. <coughs> Is missed. <coughs> Odysseus. E. Entering system. Pontifex's claim. Alright. So now I'm going to fly to each one of these stations, trying to get some uh, criminal vessels. truly wondering 
Yeah, so currently I can see my CPU is not freaking out. So then the amount of fighters that they currently have in sector is eating my GPU rather than my CPU. That's good to know. Because then I know I need to change my graphical settings. Especially if I'm trying to fight something like the Xenon and stuff. Because they not only fight you on just the fact that they have ships but they also fight your pc and just bring you down by reducing your frame rate that's how they win short range transporter b let's go get that short range transporter please Got him. Let's grab the hopefully non illegal items that it was carrying. Yeah, seems to be basic mods. That's good. So this should put the HOP at plus one reputation. Which station is the closest? Probably that one. That one looks closest. The water refinery. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, so they are on plus one. Where are you, criminal scum? While we're waiting for the criminals, let's quickly have a look. So this Prometheus is still working on trading. Okay, so that's just done. And I'm guessing this gas miner is also doing its thing and Civilian we just got see. word of a criminal vessel let's go take him out there we go so we should Theoretically, now have a bit of cash to play around with. So let's do that. And let's grab some trading things. So we can again do a bit of graphene uh, to make a little bit of cash.
So I think maybe two shiploads should still give me a decent amount of... Uh, to be honest, I think three will also give me still a decent margin. Yeah. Let's keep going. As long as the going's good, let the going go. I mean, 40,000 isn't something to to frown upon. Right, so that is going to put us into 2,000, 200,000 uh, credits. That's, that's a decent amount of uh, change. Right, let's carry on and try and get these guys to like us a little bit more. No problem. So they are at plus two. We want to have them at plus ten, hopefully soon. I think that station's closer. I should really, like, disable flight assist right now. Mass transporter. Okay. Flight assist on, please. <laughs> uh. Oh, God, you just dodged those bullets, didn't you? Like Neo style. Bro. I just did your job, policeman. What are you going to do about it? Scan me? <laughs> uh, I love it. Next station. So that should put us at plus three, at least. Oh god, hold on. I was busy scratching my leg. Thanks for your help. No problem. Civilian ship C. Let's do this. Ah oh, man, I thought it was very close to a dock. Seemed like it was close to a dock. So, whatever. Next to the station. The sound of space whales. Short range transporter B. Please have mercy. Yeah, not gonna happen, bro. Very good. I think there was a station just below this one. If I'm not mistaken. Or was it above this one? There it is next about. Just about next to it. Ah, I mean, that's gonna probably be B. one of those, um, 
in vulnerable terminal traffic. Right, so we're at plus four, which is good. This one, I think, is not going to be able to be destroyed. Just a little bit further. So now we're going to see if the bug still exists or not. It still exists. So let's get closer just to make sure. Yeah, this thing is going nowhere. Yeah. Bullets are just flying through that spaceship with absolutely no effect on it. So yeah, that bug still exists. Uh, I just need to find some more stations. Uh, da, 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 da. There's a station. I think that one I haven't been to yet. We'll see. Civilian ship, C. Okay, we've got a civilian here. Um, didn't even have a chance to say anything. Just wiped out. Gown. Oh, gown. So that should put us at plus five at least already. Which is good. I'm gonna go here. Let's do that. No problem. Doc. Yeah, so we're at plus five, which is great. system holy vision so there should be a gate uh, a highway uh the highway is like only one it's a one way and it's not my way so let's travel towards the other gate
do I have motion blur turned on on this thing? Because it does seem like I do. Which might be causing me a little bit of a problem. Not in game wise, but in brain wise. All right, chill, chill, chill. We're here. Enter the highway. Oh god, you just missed, bro. That was not me. I refuse to take any responsibility for missing that highway. That was not me. That was all you. Right, so here's the thing. This is a gate towards a very bad, bad place. A Xenon sector. Which is a no-go. We no-go. But the good thing about this gate is the fact that there is stations very close by. Ooh. We already are uh, plus seven with the Talati. That's actually brilliant. So we're close to being able to buy a police license for the Talati. That's actually very, very good. Civilian ship B. Let's see if we can get this one before it docks. Ah, uh, oh man. That sucks. I really tried. Anyway, uh, so here's the thing. Bad guys come through the gate. Bad guys comes towards stations. Bad guys get shot by me. Good guys give me thumbs up. But now obviously this only works. If there's any bad guys. If there's no bad guys. Doesn't necessarily work. Jump gate. Faulty logic. So. We are going to hope that there's bad guys. I'm going to hope that these said bad guys are small enough for me to actually shoot. Demeter. Sentinel. Without having a very big problem. And we also hope that it's a thing. I don't know. So, that is going to be a thing. Now, obviously, this is not going to be a thing right now. Right now, I'm tired as hell. And I really need to go and sleep. Almost. Can't go sleep right now. It's 11 o'clock, so... I can only go and sleep in half an hour to an hour's time. Which is sad. Don't want to. I want to sleep now. But I can't. Which is sad. <laughs> uh, I, I hope you guys can see the tiredness in my face. And hear it in my voice. But we'll see. We'll we'll get there. At this stage, I just want to make money. 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 Of which graphene seems to be quite lucrative at this stage. But I must admit, I am not focusing all that well. So there could be something more lucrative and I just am missing the crap out of it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nothing pops out at me. Like. 
Pop goes the weasel. So, what is your current issue, my dear tra uh, mining friend? Oh, selling. That's fine. You're not supposed to need to sell to both of them, so I would expect a warning on the second sell order. Alright, so we at least have 200,000. We're hoping for 400,000 very shortly. And uh, that's a good, 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 good sign. Now, I think the next step would be to, like, rip through this gate at Travel Drive and just keep going until we hit something like the highway or something and then try and do a maneuver to turn around and get through the gate again. And hopefully that will start generating some xenon in this sector, which will probably, hopefully, keep the uh, holy order a little bit in uh, at bay, so that they can't send their massive fleets against the Paranid uh, or the Antigone Republic, which is here. Because, uh, yeah, they drive me nuts. They drive me up the wall. Uh, why are you escaping? From who are you escaping? Is this guy bothering you? That seems like it's going to become mine. Ah, I love it. Alright, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up. Nice. And I'm going to ask this guy to just fly here. I'll take over here from, from here on out. Uh, I'm going to need you to remove all orders because I have no idea which orders you might have. Right. So, yeah, let him fly. This pirate shouldn't uh, be screwing around too much after that thing goes through, but he's obviously going to try and manipulate this trading ship now because that one is gone. I also want to try and get this Minotaur, to be honest. But I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult, so I might need an Ares before I do that. Um, so I think I might want to get some more mining ships into the Holy Orders uh, place, so that I can actually, like, legitimately... Uh, get their reputation up. So that's going to be a thing that I want to do. Claim. Yeah, so this one is probably going to go towards my Prometheus uh, to try and take that out. Hopefully, they Theseus, just escape. Vanguard. Yeah, there's definitely like a motion blur on this thing. Hold on. Let's see what the graphic settings are. Uh, da, 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 da. So is it going to be somewhere else then? Hmm. I have no idea where motion blur is going to be. I thought it was going to be under the graphics. 
unless they call it something different or I miss it completely because I'm halfway sleeping. Distortion maybe? I don't know. Truly don't know. Anyway, I think this game deserves a save in any way. Entering system. Unholy retribution. Entering system. Trinity Sanctum. Right, so I'm close to this area I need to be at. Entering Trinity Sanctum 7. Thank you for your Uber lift. Autopilot disengaged. Prometheus. Yeah, you need to be stopped, my dear friend. You were looking for trouble with one of my traders, and now you're trying to flee away from me? Nah, brah. You're going to go goodbye. Oh, are you seriously fleeing towards your station? That's just sad, isn't it? And seeing you're faster than me, you might actually reach it. Oh, you slowing down, that was bad. Bad move, pilot. Oh, never mind, you're speeding up again, aren't you? Sad, sad situation. Yeah, this thing is never going to stop me. Uh, uh, stop in time. Yeah, he's like super just straight arrowing towards the uh, pirate base. Yeah, he's like, nope, don't want any trouble with you. Yeah, you can be lucky. What I'm currently going to do is just fly towards the place where my traders are. I might just want to take out that Minotaur, but I don't feel like I have the power to do that. If I had Ares, I would uh, try and do that again. But yeah, I don't think I have the enough firepower or shielding, to be honest. So I'm just going to stand over here and just Q 
Okay, awesome. So I'm definitely going to go. Um, thank you everybody for uh, that watched the stream and uh, see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.